We were founded in Glasgow in 2017 uh, and since then we've been going from strength to strength in the zero emission transport sector. So we produce zero emission hydrogen electric commercial vehicles. Uh, we've got one vehicle already made which is a technology demonstrator and is a, a 5.5 tonne van. And we're uh, almost completed our HGV which is 40 tonne HGV which is our flagship product. Uh, so we're in the zero emission sector and then we're working with Fusion uh, on another project and they are bringing us into the autonomous side. So looking into getting autonomy into these vehicles and what is the, the collaboration between zero emission technology and autonomous technology and where are the economic and business benefits with that. The tech is, a, is the ap application of Fusion's autonomous technology to our hydrogen vehicle systems. So it's all about interacting with the smart vehicle uh, control system around the control of the steering, the brakes, the velocity of the vehicle. We've got a couple of uh, problems we're trying to address. Uh, the first is the driver shortage for HGVs. We're seeing that um, a lot of younger people aren't wanting to become HGV drivers because it's long hours away and they, they want to interact with their friends more, have more of a social life. So if you're able to autonomise the motorway section, which is what we're aiming for, then HGV operators can live and work uh, near the same place, um, which means you're, you're opening up the market to younger people. Uh, the opportunity for remote drivers as well means that um, the HGV operators don't have to climb in and out of these big vehicles, they don't have to use truck stops or facilities. So we're hoping that will open up the market to um, differently abled people uh, and women as well, more women, so you can address that driver shortage. I think it's so exciting because we are focusing on the long haul logistics market and the long haul logistics market does face a driver shortage but it also has the ability to be much more efficient in terms of delivering goods and services, all the things that we need on a day-to-day -day basis and a much better use of our motorway system. So the, the number of HGVs in the, uh, in, the, in the country, in fact all over Western Europe, have increased year on year and this actually gives the potential for not only slightly just the amount, but, but addressing the driver shortage and getting goods to people in a much more efficient way. The other element that we are trying to address is the congestion you get on roads. So there's a, a lot of very strict driver hours of when a HGV is allowed to operate. So if we're able to operate more at night when the roads are quieter, you can travel further, um, or you could even time your delivery to make it arrive in the morning just before the shop start. Um, so we're looking to, to beat congestion that way as well. So we're seeing two big trends happening in the transport industry. The first is towards zero emissions, and the second is towards autonomous vehicles. Uh, and so we're bringing those two trends together to, to address a number of problems. And what we're seeing in the, the, the early start of the part of the project is that the, the combination of those two technologies is really making both of them more economically viable and could bring zero emissions to the market sooner, could bring autonomous vehicles to the market sooner as well, just by putting them together. So there's a lot of synergies between them. So we are a scale-up business. We're still in the process of um, building our business, building our team uh, and getting up to, to market. So this funding is a, a big help for HVS. It'll help us to make two prototype vehicles, uh, one which is a, a, a fully working HGV, but of autonomous technologies. And then we're also doing a new design of a, a cabless version, which will be fully autonomous as well. Uh, so this helps us to continue our vehicle development. It also helps us look to the future, because we know that at, one, at some point, autonomous technology is going to come to the roads. And um, so we'd ought to develop, redevelop our vehicle later on. It means that we've, we've already put that technology on board, got the redundancy we need, and we're ready for, for wherever the market goes.